Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum. And today I thought we'd have another random recap of beauty boxes. So let's get cracking. Hiya, hope you're all okay. I'm having a really, really nice life at the moment. <laughs> I really am. I'm super happy with things. I'm feeling really positive. Um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying my life at the moment. Nothing has changed. I just, you know, it like got into the new year and I thought, you can either be miserable, can't you? Or, which I rarely am, if I'm honest. Um, or you can be really upbeat about your life. And I've just decided I'm going to be really upbeat about my life. And since I adopted that positive attitude... I actually feel like it's working. I feel like I'm happier doing things. I'm getting more done. It's all really positive. All really positive. So I thought I've got this pile of beauty boxes. Let's open them and have a look what's inside. I'm quite excited to have a look if truth be known. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of rocker box, I think. Something's going past. I think that's a glossy box. And I think that's the latest in beauty. So let's just open them and see what's inside them. All right, before I start, I've actually got this as well, which I've been promising to show you for ages. And I've never got round to doing it. Right, so the company's probably like losing the plot now. Um, so it's a cooling blanket. All right, so it's supposed to keep you cool in the hot weather, keep you warm in the cold weather. So it's been sitting on the side for ages and goodness knows I could do with an extra blanket. So you get these through Amazon, right? Okay, actually it's a really nice colour. Oh, it feels nice as well. It does feel quite cooling, but it's got a weight to it. So I could imagine now when it's sort of cold, it'll actually sort of sit on my bed. This will go in my room and all, you know, I am actually going to paint my walls. I've just decided I'm sick of this magnolia colour that were in it. Um, when, well, when I when Eve moved in, let alone when I moved in. So it's been this colour for five years that I know about. But anyway, I'm determined I'm going to change it. Anyway, let's open this and have a look at it. Right, oh my goodness, it's really nice. This is going to go so well with my room. Right, so it is, what is it? Oh, right. Goodness me, it's super big. Right, it says Extreme 5 Q Max 0.5. I don't know what that is, but anyway, right. Um, I actually can get them on Amazon. They're not that expensive either. Um, for a blanket, it's actually huge, you know. It feels really nice. It's more brushed on one side, sort of softer on one side, and more nylon-y on the other side, but it's not an unpleasant feeling at all. And it actually feels cold on the other side. So I can imagine in the summer, I'm going to really appreciate that because you know what it's like in sunny weather. You get into bed, right? You're so sweating up, right? You can't have your duvet on. Then you wake up after an hour freezing. You pull your duvet on. Half an hour later, you're sweating up, so you throw it off again. So I can imagine this will be absolutely brilliant. Oh, I really like it. I like that it's grey. I'm almost certain when I looked it up, it came in other colours as well. But the grey one's fantastic for me. I'm really excited to give that a try. Really, really excited. Oh, my goodness. It's super. I can't explain to you how cool this side feels. And that side feels warm. It's really strange. But I imagine that's what it's supposed to do, you know. But, yeah, super excited with that one. I'll list all the details for it in the description box but i thought i better show you it before i get into trouble you know for not doing you know they've been patient enough of this company um waiting for me but yeah super excited about that one okay so moving on to my beauty boxes in no particular order just the stack that's here i'm gonna put the prices for each of these beauty boxes on the screen so i'm not sitting here faffing around looking it up i'll do that in the editing process Okay, so Rocker Box, one of the beauty boxes. So I've now subscribed to another beauty box as well. So I now have five coming. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it is what it is. I did need loads of products. I did. I'm probably not going to keep subscribed to all five of them for very long. But I wanted to see the differences. The only reason I haven't subscribed to Look Fantastic is because 
I looked in their beauty box this month and it, there's one of them gua sha things. You know what I mean? No, not for me. There's no way I'm ever going to be faffing around with that. And I've honestly had so many in the past that really, does anybody need another one now? Anyway, right, I've got rid of all mine. They've all been donated. So I don't do look fantastic, but I do do Glossy Box, Rocker Box, um, Latest in Beauty, Birch Box, that's the new one, and OK Beauty Box. Right, so those are the ones at the moment I'm getting. So here we go, um, Rocker Box. Let's open it. I've chatted on long enough. All right. So it says here, I've no idea what month these are from. Sorry, guys. It says Winter Skin Saviors. All right, lovely. Has it got um, a doodah? What's it? It has. Scan me. Let's have a little look. I don't mind doing that, you know, on screen, but it's when I have to look up 30,000 things that starts upsetting me. All right, it's a QR code on the back and the front. Let's try the other one. <laughs> I've clearly done the wrong one. Here we go. Winter Saviors edit. Right, let's have a little look at what we've got inside. All right, so this is the first thing. What is it? Dr. Lip. Oh, I remember this. I've had this before. Multi-use calming balm and tint. It's got a tint to it. Let's give it a go. I do like a lip balm, you know. I'm a lip licker, as I always tell you. Um, so it's nice for me if I've got some, you know, that I can put on my lips to stop them getting so chapped. This is it. What colour is it going to be, though? Let's have a wee look. Wow, it's thick. Oh, here we go. Little wiggly bit. There it is. All right. Yep, it's got a little bit of a colour to it. Nice. Definitely, definitely use that as it smells about. No, it doesn't. It's like Vaseline sort of uh, texture, but it's um, it's got a tint to it. So that'd be nice to be able to use that, you know, for work and things throughout my bed. Let me see if it tells me how much this costs. Ten ninety nine for that. Wow. It says award winning winning balm can be used four in one ways: lip balm, lip gloss, glossy blush. I don't think I'd use it as a blush, you know. It's got a texture of um, Vaseline. I can't see me using that as a blush. Eyeshadow, no chance, right? It's. I will definitely use it as a lip balm slash lip gloss with a bit of a tint, but, and I'm very happy with it. 10.99 though, wow. Right, next up, this one. What are you? Sorry guys, the lovely Neve just rang me, so I've just had a really nice chat to our Neve, right? So, moving on. Oh, where have I put my phone? Here we go, otherwise we're not going to be able to look these up, are we? So, next up is this one, right? What is it? Fade Out Skincare Collagen Boost Whitening Exfoliating Facial Wash Pro Collagen and Niacinamide Whitening all right whatever you say okay let me see what it says about this it's fade out facial washes lucky dip between 5.99 and 6.99 so you had a choice of pure glow brightening facial wash advanced brightening facial wash <laughs> this really had to say collagen boost brightening facial wash and anti-wrinkle um brightening facial wash so i got the collagen boost one so very nice i probably could do with some more collagen so very happy with that one nice five to six ninety nine i don't know about it being whitening though but anyway whatever you say what's this get in all right a van one of my favorite makes of all time right what's it say hyaluronic oh i hate the way they spread out the words like that let me look it i'll look it up on here Avant. Centifolia Rose Radiance Capturing Mask Full Size Recommended Retail Price £19 Honestly, I'm well chuffed with it Absolutely well chuffed I'm going to be sitting with that on later on Right, it says how to use Place on clean skin And let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes Once you remove the mask Rub in the excess serum for happy healthy skin I'll be using that tonight After I've had my bath I'll sit with that on very very happy with it love it absolutely love it i'm so excited about that one so so excited 
Right, moving on. Next one. I recognise this. I'm almost certain I've had this back in the day. This is Botanicals uh, Coco Noir Time Reverse Facial Serum. I couldn't read it then, right? Sorry, my eyes are getting really bad. This isn't the one that I thought it was. I thought it was the rose one. I've had the rose one before. Wow! This has got a recommended retail price of £59.90. It says, this vegan certified product proudly boasts the formulation derived solely from natural ingredients. The key to the serum's efficacy uh, lies in its refined blend of botanical ac actives, each carefully chosen to boost skin's health and appearance. Lovely. Let's have a look at the bottle. Absolutely, definitely going to use it. £59. Wow. Okay, there we are. What's it smell of? Let's have a little smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really rich and sort of, um, yeah, just really rich, but really nice fragrance. Oh, wow. I'm super excited about that one. I might stick that on after I've used my van face mask. Lovely, very, very excited about that one. This is a really good box, I'm loving it. Right, okay, next up, Margaret Dabs hand cream. I've actually got some hand cream by Margaret Dabs. Right, in here, where are you, Margaret? Right, so this is the one I'm using at the moment. Absolutely love it. Right, so I'll put that on on a night time. It's not the one I take with me through a day, the hand cream I take when we through a date because it's in a little pot. I use it on a night time, but this might be something I could take through a day and, and whack on. Margaret Dabs London Intensive Hydrating Hand Cream. Full size, recommended retail price of £8. Right, apply a small amount of lotion over the back of your hands and gently massage into the skin, including the nails. I'll take that to work with me. And I'll carry on using this one on a night time because this one, it, it's not very easy to transport and use, whereas that one is. Okay, so some lovely Margaret dabs as well. Is that everything in my rocker box? It is. Right, so that's everything in my first box. That were an amazing box. I'm well happy with that. I always used to say, used to like, um, rocker box, best of all. Anyway, next up, we've got glossy box. I think it might be this month, you know. So this is it inside. Let's get the wee scan me ticket and let's have a look what's in it. So, so this says January, right? We're on the right month at least. Okay, so first up is this one. Now is that Olo or Otto? Let me have a look on the thing. Let's have a look what it says on here. It's Otto, okay, what are you? Deluxe size. Hand cream, more hand cream. Right, well, I'm going to stick to my Margaret Dabs. I'm going to pass that on to somebody else because I really rate my Margaret Dabs one. Um, I proper like that one. This, holy moly, of, <laughs> I might rethink that. This has got a recommended retail price of £19. Wow. Pop it down there, but £19, lovely. Let's undo my ribbon so I can get into the rest of these things. Got a glove. And I've got all the little wiggly worms stuck to it. Let's have a look at this one. Right, I love these. I've just bought some that were a thinner make, thinner one of these, for 50p at Poundland. Right, so if it tells me this is 20 quid's worth, I'm not going to believe them. They're almost, it's almost the same, except this one's slightly padded, whereas my mittens that I got from uh, Poundland weren't, but they work fantastically. I am currently using them, so yeah, what's it say about you? So Eco, full size, ultimate um, exfoliation experience, uh, two moon glove, recommended retail price, £6.50. Okay, if they'd have told me 20 quid, I'd have, said, I'd have been really, you know, like I wouldn't have believed it, but £6.50, I can see why it might be. One, it's a nice brand, um, and two, it's a nice padded one. Right, so I'll definitely get my use out of that. I will put it with my collection of little scratchy mitts that I've got for getting in the bath. Um, yeah, it's probably the nicest one I've got since my other ones were just 50p from Poundland. Um, but yeah, really, really happy to have it. So great, it's like that one. What else have I got in here? A little sachet thing. 
some little eye boomerangs, are they? Who are these by? Glow on beauty. All right, there's just one pair of little boomerangs. Let's see if I can see these. They've all got like a colour theme, these. You know, all this bluey colour. I know the glove wasn't, but the, the um, hand cream was. Right, okay, it says glow on the fifth. Glow on the fifth. All right, okay, I didn't see that on the thing. Pack of 200 eye patches that minimise the appearance of puffiness and dark circles in tired looking eyes in just 15 minutes. Great. I'll definitely give them a go. I could do with them, goodness knows. My face could do with the, all the help it can get. Um, these were £11, three pence for one pair. For one pair of under eye boomerangs. Wow, they must have some really nice serum on them. They have got a lot of serum. I can see it sort of running around inside the package. But £11 for one pair. Well, I'm very happy to have them, but I'll never go out and buy any more, you know. But anyway, very nice. Next up is this one. What are you? Little tubey thing. What are you? Pulse Point Roller. Let me have a look on here. Just to prove me wrong about the colour theme. It says, Groom Deluxe Size. Pulse Point Roller Deep Relaxation. Find your peaceful place at night and even throughout the day. Rich woody aromas ground you while lavender and chamomile soothe the nervous system. Recommended retail price, £12. Let's have a look. Let's see what it's like. Defo, use it. All right, it's got like a metal ball in the top. Let's try this. Oh yeah, it's nice. It smells like essential oils. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Oh, that definitely feels like it should be relaxing. When I smell that, it reminds me of laying in a bath and then sort of and smelling essential oils that you've put in your bath. I don't know if you're supposed to put essential oils in your bath, but I always imagine... You know, like when you get like bubble baths that are supposed to have essential oils in, they smell like this. That smells lovely. That's probably going to cheer me up through a day when I'm feeling quite stressed and upset. Right here. Okay. Which happens sort of semi-regularly. You know, something will happen, usually at work, that's really drives me nuts. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. So I sit with that feeling of feeling rubbish um, so at that point, I'm going to pull this out and sit there and make myself feel loads better. I'll rollerball it all over me um, to make myself feel better. Well happy with that one. I really like it. That might be my favourite thing so far. Properly like that. Honestly, it smells delicious, if you see what I mean. Absolutely gorgeous. And then next up, something by Molten Brown. I don't think I've ever had such a small little bottle from, you know, a small bottle from Molten Brown. Is this my last thing? It's looking like it. Yeah, my last thing is something by Molten Brown. Okay, I absolutely love Molten Brown. Really, really love them. Um, what is it? Bath and shower gel. Okay, nice. Let's have a smell. Oh, it smells nice. Kind of fresh, a bit masculine fragranced, but I like it very much. Oh, I do love Molten Brown. Honestly, why don't Molten Brown come out with a box? Do they sell Molten Brown on QVC? Because I keep looking on there to see whether I can get some. You know, on the um, today's special value, <laughs> I'm always on there looking. Um, I'm waiting for the t for the today's special value. TSV, whatever it is, um, coming up with a Molten Brown set because I'm going to be in. If it is, right, because I properly love them. Um, that is gorgeous. You don't get a massive amount in it, but uh, 50 mils. But it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Oh, I've really enjoyed this box. I think my two favourite things are that rollerball thing and the um, and the molten brown. As it's a deluxe size. Recommended retail price, £5. Absolutely love it. Would definitely pay £5 for that one. Just goes to show, doesn't it? Even, ex uh, even though it's quite pricey, I love it so much that I'd definitely pay to get it again, you know. So anyway, there's that one. Okay, so let's move on to Latest in Beauty. This is the one that you get to pick. 
So you'll have seen some of the things that I've got before because I've reordered him because I liked him so much. Okay, let's just pull everything out and then I can show you what I actually ended up going for this time. Okay, so my favourite things that I went for, again, are this fudge purpley colour shampoo that t stops your hair being quite so brassy. You can, as you can probably tell, I haven't used it, my other one yet. But I absolutely love this stuff, really rate it. So well happy with that one. And then I also bought some more of these Avant shampoo and conditioner because I love Avant so much. I did look on the Avant website as to whether I could actually buy it, buy shampoo and conditioner off the website, but it doesn't look like it's on there. So I don't know whether they've discontinued these, which is why they're selling them off sort of in Lakes in Beauty, but I'm very happy to be able to get them. If they're there again next month, I will be picking them again. And then I also bought this one, which is the Sukin um, shampoo, because I rate this as well. I'm sure I've left one in here, because you're supposed to get, oh, it's there, six. Right, okay. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this. I've used up the other bottle that I had to this, and I really like it. So super happy with that one. And then I also bought, right, that I bought the Avant shower gel. Just thought I'd give that a go and all, oh, why not, right? So I've got the shampoo, conditioner, and now I've got the shower gel. Let's see for what it smells like. Oh, it smells lovely. It's sort of creamy fragrance. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So very, very happy with that one. There's another shower gel. Between that and my malt and brown, I'm going to feel really, really like um, spoil. Okay. And then I ordered this. It's shampoo. Right. In a sachet of powder. Right. It's a sachet of powder. Just add water. Fine and or dry hair. Fill a bottle. What bottle? I haven't even got a bottle. I'm going to have to buy a bottle especially for this. Which suggests to me it ain't ever going to happen, right? So basically, to recap, fill a bottle that you don't, I don't have with tepid water. Add this. Shake it. Leave it overnight. Shake it again and then you can use it. This. To make your own shampoo. Uh, no, I ain't doing it right. When I saw it, I thought it would be another say, sort of bottle of shampoo. Um, it's not. It's a powder where I've got to make my own shampoo. It reminds me of one of those kits, you know, like a soap making kit that you used to get as a child. You know what I mean? And when you'd make the soap, it would look absolutely grotesque. I'm slightly concerned that this is going to be the same. So I won't be using this. I will take this into work and see whether anybody else wants to construct their own shampoo. Failing that, we might end up putting it into a water tray um, and seeing what happens. Actually, that might actually work a treat. We might do that. Make some bubbles in a water tray using this. That might be the way we're going with it. All right. Because I cannot see um, me ever wanting to use this. And I... The idea that I'm going to go out and buy a bottle. All right, I could use sort of an empty bottle that I've already got. But I don't tend to have a lot of bottles, bottles, you know what I mean? I'd have that little bottle of little ones that size of the molten brown stuff, but not big enough to be able to make this. So this, I'm afraid, is a non-starter for me. It's not my favourite, you know what I mean? I liked all my other things, though. So they kind of made up for it. And then last up... Let's get on to this last rocker box before my light fades dramatically. Okay, so this is called... Oh, this is February. Oh, no, that's February sneak peek. So this is obviously January's. Right, let's scan this and see what it says about our stuff. Right, let's open it and see what we got. Right, first up, another thing by this Otto company. Right, what are you? rejuvenating eye cream okay so we've had the eye cream now we've got an eye cream it's a nice box you see that that pulls off and then we're it's inside let's have a little look a little tube of eye cream how many mils do we get oh wow it's getting really dark outside i hope the light continues long enough to be able to film this video All right okay let's quickly have a look at what it says about this one Rejuvenating eye cream, 15 mils, full size, recommended retail price, 
£49. Pounds. Wow. I'm actually using a teeny weeny little eye cream that I got in my Savora beauty box at the moment. But after that, I'll move on to that one, all right? It'll take me about a week to finish this tiny little tube. But then at that point, we'll be moving on to the Otto one. Will it say what's so amazing about it? A luxurious and silky blend of carefully selected plant actives and extracts, including CBD and Chaga Mushroom. I don't know what a Chaga Mushroom is. Brightens and deep puffs skin around the eyes, reducing the appearance of dark circles. Target signs of aging and fatigue. I've got both of those. Right. Apply gently with your fingertips to the delicate skin around the eyes. Using the morning and evening as part of your daily skincare routine. Nice. Okay. I'll be moving on to that as soon as I've finished this wee Sephora one that I've got. Right. Next up is this. What's it say? Soap brows. All right. Well, my eyebrows are drawn on. Okay. <laughs> If I didn't draw them on, I don't have any, right? Because they're lily white now, so you cannot see them for love and money. So there's no point me using this. This is a definite pass on to somebody else. Who's it by? WB Co. Original brow soap, it says. Right, I've got a bent little spoolie. And then this soap brows. Okay, like that. Oh, it's sparkly. Or is it just the tin showing through? I think it's just the tin showing through. I'm sure it's lovely. Absolutely lovely if you've got eyebrows. But like I say, mine are lily white. And uh, yeah, there's literally no point in me doing this. Drawing them on, yeah. Give me an eyebrow pencil any day of the week and twice on Sundays. But this one's no good for me. That will be going to work for somebody else, right? Okay, so let's have a look how much that's worth. All right, West Barn Co. is the original soap brows, full size recommended retail price, £15. Oh, I've already got one of these. I got one of these before. Uh, what did I get it in? Did I get it in a rocker box? I got it in something. I'm using it up. Is it a Pericone MD something or other? It's a tiny wee pot, but it's actually worth quite a lot. Yeah, Cold Plasma Plus Advanced Serum Concentrate. It's a deluxe mini and it's worth £37 for that. £37 and it's only 7.5 mils. Really nice stuff. I've been whacking it on on a night time over the top of my serums and stuff. So I'm very happy to get another one. You know what, £37.50 is on a £37 worth. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's For that tiny pot, that's how much it is excited to have another one you know and it is absolutely beautiful stuff so very happy right next up what have i got this one lights definitely fading now esper triactive regenerative moisture complex 15 mils deluxe mini worth 19 pounds this ultra rich cream brings you maximum nourishment and supports the skin's natural renewal process through gentle hydrating exfoliation. So what do you do with it? Apply to fingertips and tap onto face, neck and decollete before smoothing in light upward strokes until fully absorbed. Okay, lovely. Very happy with that one at 19 pounds as well. This box is really good. There's loads in it worth quite a lot of money. So fab. The only thing I can't use is that soap brows. And then last up, I've got this one in a pretty pink box thankfully last thing because the light is just about to go um anatomicals giving foot good giving good head really okay. <laughs> coconut on honey hair mask all right lovely i love a hair mask very very like happy with this one really love them let's smell it and see what it smells like what a name though Oh, it smells gorgeous. It's really lovely. You can smell the coconut and the honey in it. Absolutely so excited to try that one. Let me tell you what it's worth before my light goes. All right, it's worth five pounds. And it says, apply to damp hair and leave in for as long as you want, but no less than 10 minutes. Wash off with warm water. Pro tip, 
seal with a blast of cold water and locking. Right, okay. I am super happy with that box. The only thing that I won't use is the soap brows. Um, but yeah, everything else is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I think my rocker box is, is again, my favourite box this time. Um, so those two rocker boxes I've really, really enjoyed. Although I really liked all of them. I think the only things that are a miss for me are the shampoo that I've got to make myself. Um, no chance am I ever going to do that. And the uh, brows. And that's only because mine, like I say, are white. But anyway, everything else I absolutely love. And my blanket's super nice. I will link all that information. I'll link all the boxes, even though I've, I've paid for them myself. I'm not, this ain't sponsored by any of these companies. Um, and I will link that blanket um, in the description box as well, just in case you want to go ahead and get yourself one. I think it's going to be invaluable in the hot weather. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!